Though exciting news has emerged from the world of aviation as Chinese scientists have developed a prototype jet that harnesses the power of air plasma for propulsion. This groundbreaking achievement brings us closer to achieving carbon emission free air travel. But how does this plasma propulsion technology work? And what else sets this new engine apart? Join us as we delve into the details of this incredible innovation, exploring its potential for commercial aviation and its implications for a cleaner and more sustainable future of air travel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Before we dive into the details of this new engine, let's take a step back and understand how plasma propulsion engines work. Imagine a propulsion system that doesn't rely on conventional fuel, but uses charged particles to generate thrust. These engines, known as plasma propulsion engines, are a promising form of spacecraft propulsion. More on that later. The Institute of Technological Sciences at Wuhan University scientists have created a prototype device that utilizes air and electricity to generate propulsion, boasting capabilities comparable to those of a conventional commercial aircraft engine. In their research paper, the scientists explain that the engine compresses and ionizes air using microwaves. This process allowed them to elevate a 1 kg steel ball over a quartz tube with a diameter of 24 mm. The significance of this breakthrough lies in successfully adapting plasma propulsion technology to operate in Earth's atmosphere. While plasma propulsion is commonly used in spacecraft, engineers have faced significant challenges applying it to atmospheric conditions. The Chinese team claims to have overcome this hurdle, achieving thrust equivalent to that of a commercial jet engine without burning fossil fuels, as reported by the Daily Mail. The researchers envision a future where a fleet of these plasma jet thrusters, powered by high-power microwave sources, replaces conventional fossil fuel-based engines in full-sized jets. Professor Zhao Tang at Wuhan University emphasizes the potential of their findings. Our results demonstrated that such a jet engine based on microwave air plasma could be a potentially viable alternative to the conventional fossil fuel jet engine. The motivation for our work is to help solve the global warming problems owing to humans' use of fossil fuel combustion engines to power machinery, such as cars and aeroplanes. There is no need for fossil fuel with our design, therefore there is no carbon emission to cause greenhouse effects and global warming. Plasma, the lesser-known fourth state of matter, is formed when the atoms in a gas become ionized. It is widely believed to be the most abundant form of matter in the universe and is thought to have originated shortly after the Big Bang. While plasma occurs naturally in stars, lightning and the sun, it can also be artificially generated using various methods, including microwaves, lasers and electric cars. The plasma applications are vast, spanning metal processing, crystal growth, medical treatment, food processing, and energy and environmental industries. Plasma display panels, neon signs, and fluorescent lamps already utilize artificial plasma. In the aerospace field, plasma jet thrusters have been employed for years. However, the recent Chinese prototype holds tremendous potential for commercial aviation, offering a pathway to replace carbon-emitting airliners. The scientists are determined to further improve the efficiency of their device, working towards a future where the commercial aviation industry embraces this innovative plasma engine, leaving behind the era of carbon emissions and ushering in a new generation of clean and sustainable air travel. Plasma-based thrusters, unlike ion thrusters, harness the power of internally generated currents and potentials to increase ions. By utilizing a high current electric arc between electrodes, these engines eliminate the need for high voltage grids or anodes or cathodes, reducing the risk of grid iron erosion. So how is this new technology better? More importantly, it is better than conventional engines. One notable advantage of plasma exhaust is the quasi-neutral nature, where positive ions and electrons exist in equal numbers. This allows for simple ion-electron recombination in the exhaust eliminating the requirement for an electron gun. These engines can generate plasma using various methods, such as radio frequency or microwave energy, with fuels ranging from argon and carbon dioxide to even the unconventional choice of human urine. However, like any technology, plasma thrusters come with their challenges. The primary hurdle lies in the high energy demand necessary to power these engines. For instance, the variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket VX200 engine requires 200 kilowatts of electrical power to produce a mere 1.12 pounds of thrust, resulting in a power to thrust ratio of 40 kilowatts. 
While fission reactors could meet this energy demand, the added weight might challenge the spacecraft's launch. Plasma erosion is another issue that arises during operation. The thermal ablation of the thruster cavity and support structure by the hot plasma can lead to system failure over time. Additionally, the low thrust output of plasma engines restricts their practicability for launch applications. On average, these engines provide a modest 2 pounds of thrust, making them more suitable for in-space propulsion rather than launching the spacecraft into orbit. Nonetheless, plasma propulsion systems have found their place in space exploration. Space agencies like the European Space Agency, Iranian Space Agency, and NASA have developed and utilized plasma thrusters in various missions. For instance, NASA's collaboration with BUSEC resulted in deploying the first Hall Effect thruster on the TESCAT-2 satellite in 2011. Plasma thrusters are also integral to the NASA Dawn space probe's operations. One proponent example of plasma propulsion technology in development is the Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket or Vasimir, pioneered by the Ad Astra rocket company. Vasimir employs electric fields to ionize propellant into plasma and then utilizes magnetic fields to direct and accelerate the plasma in the desired direction, generating thrust for the spacecraft. Theoretically, a colossal 200 megawatt Vasimir engine could reduce travel times from Earth to Jupiter or Saturn from 6 years to 14 months and from Earth to Mars from 6 months to a mere 39 days. What sets this new Chinese plasma engine apart from the others in its field? Last year, a team of brilliant Chinese engineers unveiled a functional microwave thruster prototype that showcases the remarkable potential for operating efficiently within Earth's atmosphere, rivaling the performance of conventional jet engines. Unlike traditional plasma engines that utilize noble gases like xenon, which suffer from thrust loss due to friction with air particles, this innovative design developed by researchers at Wuhan University's Institute of Technical Sciences harnesses the power of air and electricity. Through rigorous testing, the engine has demonstrated the ability to generate a significant amount of thrust, opening up possibilities for its future application in modern aircraft. The operating principle behind this new plasma engine resembles a combustion engine. Plasma is generated from a source gas and rapidly heated, causing it to expand and create thrust. In this particular engine, ionized air produces a low temperature plasma channeled into a tube via an air compressor. As the air travels up the tube, microwaves are bombarded, vigorously shaking the ions and prompting collisions with non-ionized atoms. To achieve this incredible feat, the engine employs a flattened waveguard, a rectangular metal tube that concentrates the microwaves. These microwaves, generated by a specifically designed 1 kW 2.45 GHz magnetron, travel through the guide, tapering to half its initial size near the plasma and then expanding again. This process intensifies the electric field strength and maximizes heat and pressure transfer to the plasma. A quartz tube is strategically positioned within a hole in the waveguide's narrowest point. Air is forced through this tube, passing through a small waveguard section and exciting on the opposite end of the quartz tube. As the air enters the tube, it passes over electrodes exposed to a high electric field. This treatment removes electrons from the air and gas atoms, predominantly nitrogen and oxygen, creating a low temperature and low pressure plasma. The pressure exerted by the device's blower at the tube's entry propels the plasma further until it reaches the waveguide. Once the plasma enters the waveguide, its charged particles oscillate within the microwave field, leading to rapid heating. Consequently, the atoms, ions, and electrons collide frequently, transferring energy from the ions and electrons to the neutral atoms, rapidly increasing the plasma's temperature. So just how powerful is this new plasma engine? Is it powerful enough to power a jet? Well, the researchers at Wuhan are optimistic that it can. They utilize a unique method to establish the engine's thrust output. By balancing a hollow steel ball on the exhaust end of the tube, they could indirectly measure the thrust by counteracting gravitational forces. Through their testing, they achieved a conversion rate of 6.29 pounds of thrust per kilowatt, surpassing existing electric propulsion systems. While this new engine shows remarkable promise, there are important considerations for its practical applications. The high temperature exhaust poses challenges regarding aircraft integration, particularly in the emerging eVTOL market. Furthermore, scaling the engine's thrust and power output to match the requirements of a full-sized jet plane remains a significant hurdle. While plasma engines have shown great potential in space exploration, they have faced a significant challenge, the corrosion caused by ions in contact with the working fluid. 
However, a breakthrough has emerged from the laboratories of Tohoku University in Japan. Meet Professor Kazunori Takahashi, a brilliant researcher working on improving electrodeless plasma engines. Specifically, he focused on a type called helicon engines, where plasma is generated through the use of radio waves emitted by a unique antenna known as a helicon. Until now, the efficiency of helicon engines has never surpassed 20%, limiting their practical applications. However, Professor Takahashi's ingenuity and perseverance led to a remarkable achievement. He successfully increased the efficiency of these plasma engines to an impressive 30%. While a 10% increase may seem modest, it is pretty significant in engine efficiency. Only a few engines can boast higher efficiency levels. Moreover, when combined with the extended lifespan of electrodeless plasma engines, Professor Takahashi's invention holds tremendous potential for shaping the future of space technologies. Imagine spacecraft propelled by these advanced plasma engines, capable of traveling further and more efficiently than ever. The implications for space exploration and satellite missions are profound. Professor Takahashi's breakthrough not only enhances the performance of plasma engines, but also addresses the corrosion issue by eliminating the need for electrodes in direct contact with the working fluid. This development paves the way for more reliable and durable plasma propulsion systems. As we celebrate this exciting advancement in plasma engine efficiency, we eagerly anticipate these electrodeless engines' continued progress and refinement. The future of space travel and exploration is becoming brighter with each scientific breakthrough. As we conclude our exploration of the revolutionary plasma engine, what other advancements in aerospace technology would you like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest discoveries and innovations in the automotive industry. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.